collapsed arc question. Let's first understand the meaning of this sentence. The recent clinical trials have revealed that collapsed arc condition of the human's feet, the same as the one causing the feet to overpronate, putting strain on muscles, joints and tendons of the lower legs, is also providing extra stability that reduces the likelihood of turning or spraining the ankle in a fall. So this sentence uh, has a lot of technical terms, but we can weed out those and try to get the gist of the sentence. It presents findings of clinical trials. Um, these trials were about the collapsed arc condition of the human's feet. So there may have been some trials about the condition of human's feet and they, dis and they found out more information about the collapsed arc condition. Now, uh, this collapsed arc condition is the same as the one causing the feet to overpronate. So this condition is already known to cause the feet to overpronate and this leads to this overpronation leads to putting um, uh, strain on muscles joints and tendons of the lower legs now then these trials have revealed that this condition this collapsed arc condition is also providing extra stability okay so it provides extra stability and by the way this extra stability reduces the likelihood of turning or spraining the ankle in a fall so as we can see you know now we know there are two bits of information about about the collapsed arc condition one is the negative one is the negative impact of it and that is uh, that it causes the feet to overpronate and then the other is the positive thing which has been recently discovered by the clinical trials and this extra stability reduces the likelihood of turning or spraining spraining the ankle in the fall so the meaning is relatively clear now we move on to our answer to our error analysis to find the errors in this sentence so as usual we'll first split our sentence into its individual clauses the recent clinical trials have revealed so we already have our subject verb pair here have re uh, trials have revealed that marks the presence of another clause that collapsed our condition of the human's feet the same as the one causing the feet to overpronate putting strain on muscles is also providing the extra stability so here um, Okay, then we see that, so that's another clause. And uh, so, so for a minute, come back to this um, clause itself. So here, condition of human's feet is the subject, is also providing, is the verb, okay? Um, then in the last clause, that reduces, so that reduces is our subject verb pair. Here, that refers to the extra stability. So again, the subject, all the subject verb pairs are accounted for and they all agree in number. Trials have revealed condition is also providing that reduces where that refers to stability. So, so subject verb agreement is okay. Now let's look at the verbs here. Um, here is also providing you know that it's unnecessarily written in continuous tense whereas we know that you know this is um, this can this can be very concisely stated as a simple fact uh, in simple present tense that is the condition um, also provides extra stability that would be perfectly fine so that is the error in this sentence and then uh, let's look at the modifiers now um, the same as the one causing the feet to overpronate so here the same as the one causing the feet to overpronate this is a uh, um, now it, this basically modifies this entire thing condition of the human's feet so what condition the same as the one causing the feet to overpronate so here again causing the feet to overpronate is unnecessarily wordy you know this this could be written very precisely by saying as the one that causes the feet to overpronate when we say something the same as the one causing the feet to overpronate it somehow makes it appear as though it's a continuous action and and that doesn't make sense you know it should simply be stated very concisely as as the one that causes the feet to overpronate because you're stating simple facts here um, okay then putting strain on the muscles joints and tendons that is actually absolutely correct because it's providing the effect of this part here the same as the one that causes the feet to overpronate putting strain so because um, this condition causes the feet to overpronate that leads to uh, putting strain on the muscles tendons joints of lower legs so this is absolutely correct so um, again these are the two errors in this sentence and both are pertaining to I mean you can say that it's more of the um, it doesn't require continuous tense because there is no continuity of the action here it's more of stating simple facts using simple present tense so um, so now we move over to our answer choice analysis and find the correct answer 
So choice A has the modifier error as we discussed. Let's look at choice B. Um, clinical trials have revealed that collapsed are condition of human's feet of the same condition that causes the feet to overpronate. So let's just look at this part right now. Um, have revealed the trials have revealed that collapsed arc condition of the human's feet of the same condition so here we don't know what is the purpose of this uh, of the same condition is does it imply that have revealed that collapsed arc condition of the same condition so of condition of the same condition is nonsensical at the same time if we think that okay of the same condition could be associated with human's feet that also doesn't make sense because then the sentence would read that trials have revealed that collapsed our condition of the human's feet of the same condition so feet of the same condition feet has the same has a condition but you can't say feet of the same condition that causes feet so so it's 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 illogical either way so we don't so first of all you know of the same condition is ambiguous its function is not clear and you know secondly it doesn't make sense with either feet or the condition both of those could which uh, i mean both of those are nouns it doesn't make sense with yeah, with either of those um okay then let's continue reading choice b feet that causes the feet to overpronate putting strain on muscles joints and tendons also providing so notice here from our error analysis we know that providing or is or provides is the verb for condition and that's the subject in our uh, in our uh, um, non underlined portion of the sentence but now by changing is providing to simply providing we uh, leave condition without any verb here so that's uh, so we have a fragment error so again notice how important it is to understand the sentence structure and assign all the subject verb pairs so that when you see those kinds of changes in your answer choices you can immediately figure out that okay there's something different here and now it changes um, the subject verb integrity of the clause okay so let's look at choice C um, have revealed that collapsed our condition of human's feet are the same so condition of feet are the same as those so first of all condition of the feet are same there is subject verb number disagreement condition is the same uh, should be the, the correct thing similarly those that cause so condition of the feet are the same as feet that cause the feet to overpronate look at i mean those is a plural pronoun so it can modify to feet that's the only thing it can modify here um, obviously it cannot modify to trials because that would be completely illogical here even feet is illogical you say that okay condition of the feet are the same as the feet that cause the feet to overpronate I mean this is completely nonsensical so that's incorrect um, and then also provide is written in um, uh, is, is a plural verb it should be singular because it should agree with the singular noun uh, condition so this sentence also has errors then choice D uh, trials have revealed that collapsed our condition of human's feet, the same condition that causes the feet to overpronate, putting strain on muscles, joints and tendons of the lower legs also provides extra stability that reduces the likelihood of turning or spraining an ankle, the ankle in the fall. So this sentence appears to be absolutely correct. There are no errors. It, it, um, it basically maintains the meaning of the original sentence. Uh, let's look at choice E. Feet, which is the same as the one that causes the feet to overpronate. Okay, condition of the human's feet, which is the same as the one, okay, that causes the feet to overpronate. To put strain on muscles, joints, and tendons also provide. So here, look at this. To put, to, uh, to put strain on muscles, joints. That is absolutely incorrect because now it appears as though the purpose of overpronation is to put the strain on muscles joints and tendons now that's not the intended meaning what we intended to state was that the collapsed arc condition uh, causes the feet to overpronate and this overpronation leads to putting strain on muscles joints and tendons it's not like the overpronation is done with an ulterior motive to cause uh, to basically put strain on muscles and joints so here we change the we change the meaning of the sentence and um, and that's why this th this choice is incorrect and also there is another uh, grammatical error per se because also provide provide should not be um, provide is, um, is is plural and it should be singular so choice D is the correct answer here